there's more to us as African Americans than just athletics. There's more to us as African Americans than just being able to sing or rap. But if you do want to be in music, you know, the, re the reason why the name of my company is Music Is My Business is because at the end of the day, it's still a business. So one of the things I really try to share with people that want to be in the music space is that uh, it is a business. You have to learn it. It's not just about being creative. That's why you see a lot of people, some of your favorite artists, that are broke. And you don't understand why they're broke because you see them on TV, but because during the time that they were partying, kicking and traveling and performing, the one thing that they weren't paying attention to was their publishing, which is basically how you get paid in the music, like how you really get paid in the music business. Um, they, weren't paying, they weren't paying attention to their attorneys or their accountants or their managers. <laughs> and so pretty much everybody was stealing, sometimes stealing money or hustling them. The music business, especially as an artist, you have, you have most, not all, but most artists have only a short window. Um, which is why I always encourage for people to get involved behind the scenes because that can last forever. You know, it's kind of like being an athlete and an owner. You know, somebody tells me I could be uh, a star athlete and make $10 million a year, I'd still rather be the owner because that means I'm paying you $10 million a year, which probably means I'm a billionaire. So, and I could be an owner forever. I can only be an athlete for 10 to 15 years. So, you know, my job today is just to make sure that I get to hopefully encourage you guys to just think a little differently and understand that it's hard work but you know it's it's harder work if you don't do what you're supposed to do